Bunch of Gorgeous Army, your motivation guy is back again. I'm so pumped up. Bringing you yet another edition of What Would You Do? All right, so this is the series where we show you guys pro players in tough scenarios, and we ask you the favorite question, what would you do? This time, we're featuring the trio that won the NA East Trio Cash Cup, p -God, TK, and Peter Bot. The trio after grinding managed to come out on top, so definitely congrats to them. And just as an FYI, okay, so in this episode of the series, we're not going to be, you know, taking all of the clips directly from the Trio Cash Cup, simply because of the trios most of the time you know it's just really harder to choose an objective correct you know clips and all that stuff with all the possibilities and all that so instead we're going to be using a mixture of solo and trio clips from these three talented players Are you guys ready for this i'm pumped up let's get this going In this match, P-God has managed to grind his way all the way to the top five, allowing for a chance for him to get a victory royale, which would bring in some serious points. The remaining few opponents are quite a few levels below him, pretty much fighting among themselves. So after using the very last of his materials to successfully take the high ground over his enemies and pressure them with his assault rifle, P-God seems to have limited options. Okay guys, so with this loadout, absolutely no mess, and the storm moving fast, what would you do? A. Drop down a few levels and try to W key the the remaining enemies b use the launch pad to go to older builds and just take the ultimate high ground giving more safety or c carefully parkour across the old builds to where the storm is moving and play passively for the hill off But your grand summon, your time is up. As it turns out, option C is probably the best and most safe option to pick. So really, as it turns out, okay, if you take a look at P-Guy's loadout, you're going to see that he has three floppers, which can pretty much guarantee that he wins the hill off. So what P-Guy does is parkour across some old builds since he has no mats left and pretty much tries to stay inside the circle for as long as he can. Once the storm circle is pretty much about to close in, P-Guy moves somewhere in close and just uses his floppers to survive. To his surprise, he randomly stumbles across a chug cannon, which would have been extremely lucky if he had even needed it. He manages to win the game by surviving the storm using his heals, and it's so fair to say that P got definitely played this match pretty smart for the win. And real quick, we're excited to announce a brand new Pro Guys free trial subscription. You get a free coaching session when you sign up as well, and get access to hundreds of lessons by top pros in every game that you can think of. You don't want to miss this, man. Take advantage of this right now for three days. And if you love Pro Guys, sign up for more. Use the link down below to get started and enjoy your free three days. All right, so the reason option A wasn't the best play is simply because p -Guy wouldn't have enough materials to safely fight the remaining players below him. He would have been leaving himself open for too many shots and wouldn't be able to survive if he had W keyed. And the reason option B wasn't a smart idea is that launch pads are loud. You may not realize it, but with only two other enemy players in the lobby, they're going to hear you use that launch pad and see it as an opportunity to shoot you since, you know, you're going to take the launch pad up, you're going to be in the air, you're going to be pretty defenseless from AR bullets for a pretty long time. All right, so in this clip, Peter Bot gets himself into a build fight at Retail Row, trying his best to W key the opponents efficiently. As he tries to peace control the enemy, unfortunately he gets himself into a pretty bad positioning and takes some damage, which puts him down to 74 HP. Fortunately enough, Peter Bot also manages to crack his shield as well. The enemy is now waiting on the other side of the metal, waiting for Peter Bot's next move. So in this position, with the enemy above you and looking straight at you, what would you do? A. Play passively completely, disengage from the fight entirely since it's just too risky and you need to heal up. Or B. Play aggressively and use movement and peace control to dodge enemy shots and go for the elimination. Or even C. Simply build up and retake high ground over the enemy. If you choose option B, you're in fact correct. <laughs> so you may not have noticed this, but in this clip, you can see that Peter Bot placed not only a wall between the enemy and him, he also managed to swiftly place a cone above the enemy's head for some even more secure peace control. If you spotted this before we paused the video, you may have predicted that B would be the right answer a little easier. You may be thinking, isn't this practically a 50-50, which makes it a bad play overall? Well, while this play was a little bit unsafe and could have ended in him getting sent back to the lobby pretty easily if the opponent had insane aim, Peter Bot knew that if he used his low ground angle to his advantage, he would be able to maneuver through the opponent's bullets using his double movement and crouching, which makes it less of a 50-50 and gives Peter Bot more control over the engagement. As Peter Bot edited the wall, he moves forward and crouches below the ramp so he's just completely out of the enemy's shotgun line of sight. And so since the enemy can't see Peter Bot, like it forces him to predict when Peter Bot is actually going to peak, making it near impossible to land a shot. And so when he eventually shoots at nothing, this gives Peter Bot the elimination since 
since they are both already one shot. So the reason why you wouldn't go for option A in this situation is simply that disengaging from the fight is easier said than done, right? The main issue that Peter Bot would come across is the lack of materials to use as protection while rotating away from the enemy. And so at this point here, he only had eight builds of metal remaining, which wouldn't be enough. Not to mention getting shot in the back at any point would probably eliminate him. You also got to take into account where he is on the map as well. Like, where are you going to go once you disengage? I guess you could possibly hide inside one of the basements and the houses, but those houses are super enclosed, which could mean that you could get cornered in them and be trapped if you got chased by the enemy. And for option C, building upwards for height simply wouldn't work because again, the lack of materials that Peter Bot has in this situation. Even if he did get height with those eight builds, like then what? He's now on height with zero builds remaining and the risk of third parties shooting him from the side is even greater than ever. It's also important to note that Peter Bot was pretty much, you know, playing low ground for this entire fight, which probably means that he's comfortable with the low ground, so there's definitely no need for him to be on height. And this clip, we can see how TK is scouting out a building which he knows the enemy landed at in Believer's Beach. He's crouch walking so that, you know, he reduces the sounds that he makes, and TK simply waits until an enemy comes out of the building. So as you can tell, TK is a player who uses visual cues, and he can see that enemy footsteps are close by. As the opponent leaves the building, TK locks on with his AR and he cracks his shield. It's important to note that his teammates are quite far away from him and, you know, they're currently in fights of their own. So, in this scenario, what would you do? A. Ramp above the enemy player and spray his box from above. B. Do the same but spray their box from below. Or C. Stop fighting this player and go support your teammates instead. In this situation, A is most definitely the best option to go with, and TK chooses this really well. Like, since he's pretty good on health and materials for early game, there's really no reason not to go and finish them off. If you look at his points, you can really see he only has one, indicating that this is the first game of their cash cup. And if you didn't know, the fewer points you have in a cash cup, the easier players you're going to come up against. So this is why that you're going to see pro players pulling off insane 30 to 50 kill games in their first couple of matches of attorney, and then they pray pretty consistently for the rest of their eight games or so. TK ramps up above the weekend player and sprays down with his gray SMG, trying to quickly finish off the kill, but since the enemy is fast and relocating and reboxing, he has to chase him a little longer until he eventually gets the elimination. So the reason why you don't want to pick B is because shooting from below instead of above, it just makes it extremely easy for the enemy to pre-fire through the floor and get yourself shot in the face. And on top of that, it's just unnecessarily just gives the enemy the high ground, allowing them to get a better angle on you. So always make sure to just try and shoot from above if you can. And the reason why C isn't the best option is that if TK dropped this fight and instantly started going to his teammates, the enemy that TK got weak would have had enough time to fully heal up and cause more problems later down the line by possibly possibly shooting them from the side or literally anywhere. Also in Trio, you should always expect your teammates to be able to take on a fight sometimes without your support, and if they get themselves into something which they shouldn't have, then well, I'm sorry, that's kind of their fault. And this is why communication is key for the Trio's meta. Having good communication should always come first. But of course, Tommy, it's time for a quick recap. Here we go. First off, okay, if you're in late game and you have tons and tons of heals, you should learn to be confident going for the heal off, just like he got. Play your way passively and survive until the storm fully closes and then simply use your heals to stay alive for longer than the remaining players. All right, make sure to practice your peace control movement and peaking skills so that even when you are low on health and materials, you're able to confidently outplay and eliminate your opponents just like Peter Bob. Always try your best to finish off those eliminations early game, no matter what, as you don't want them showing up again later down the line to third party you. And finally, when playing in trios, you should always try to rely on yourself and your teammates to survive those early game encounters as sometimes you just need to have trust in order to win. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's What Would You Do video. Hope you guys learned a lot. Make sure if you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. I say it all the time. I believe in you. I am your number one fan. Do not quit. Do not give up. Do not give in to the naysayers because the dreams that are inside of you, they're going to be a reality if you can stay focused and stay grinding, man. I wish you guys the best. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.